Hello, welcome to day nine of 30 days of creating with my beginner art journal kits. I'm your host, Robin Norgren, and uh, again, I will show you another example of how I am creating in real time in less than 10 minutes a day that allows this to be my meditation practice and uh, just setting the tone for the day. So in the kits, um, you actually will get a pouch that has the name of the theme uh, sewn on the outside of the pouch and in your pouch you will get pictures uh, 30 to 35 pictures also 35 to 40 quotes in different fonts and different paper um, styles um, and then you will get some washi tape and you will get uh, an ink pen a nicer pen than this of course <laughs> and so what you would do is you would um, uh, supply your own um, journaling uh, notebook and this is a seven by ten um, and that is just so you can decide what kind of journaling um, system that you would want because if you really enjoy doing this then you have you can have one every month and have it uniformly in the same type of notebook and so this is the style that I really like to um, work in you've also if you're on Instagram with me you've seen me use a larger sized um, uh, kit as well for when I first started um, uh, art journaling and this is my 10 year anniversary of doing that and so that's uh, why I decided to create something that I hope you can enjoy uh, journaling with as well. Alright so I'm going to look through my pictures and I'm working through the um, kindness um, packet but these pictures aren't necessarily in the kindness packet so I want to make sure you know that you will have different pictures than what you see here so that it's not you, you still have that form of a surprise as you go through the pictures okay and what I'm doing is I'm just looking for a picture that I feel drawn to today and then I will write on that picture and uh, along with a quote you can always choose to just use a quote or just use a picture um, but today I think I'm going to use both all right so I really like this picture and I'm going to use it but now if you are using a smaller book and same thing for me I could cut this out if I wanted to but for today I'm just going to leave it as is because I feel like this picture says so much and so I'm going to write why you know having all of this here seems meaningful to me today so of course you would be dating your your journal as well okay so I could choose to just write on this about this picture and why it's invoking a mood for me or I can continue to look through the quotes and then add a quote as well Scott Adams says remember there's no such thing as a small act of kindness every act creates a ripple with no logical end Margaret Mead says never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. Desmond Tutu, do your little bit of good where you are. It's those little bits of good put together that overwhelm the world. I really like that one. So again, you could put that anywhere on your on your um, journaling page. I'm going to put it right here. You can also add your own, you know, art materials if you have them. You could write in marker, you could write in colored pencil. You can make it as creative looking as you want it to. But even with just these two pieces and the, um, the washi tape, you can see that it really does have a pleasing aesthetic. And you don't have to do much more to really find a, a satisfying, um, connection in your soul. Just cutting this down a little bit so that it can fit. I think I'm going to move that so I can read it better. All right, so from there, you could just sit with this for a few minutes and you could decide why this speaks to you. You don't necessarily have to write anything down here, but if something comes to mind, you can then write it onto your page. So I think for me, I'm going to write a little bit about this, um, this gap and also that it has a labyrinth feel. The labyrinth feels a lot like life.
you go along and you have plenty of room to move and step until suddenly you don't. That's what I see. The gap in the labyrinth. Okay. And so I'm just putting that there and I might just sit for a few minutes and I might just do some breathing exercises, you know, just inhale for two, exhale for two, or inhale for two, exhale for four. And I might just let myself just think about this for a while. Why those words and why on this particular day am I really connecting with that? Um, it might be something I might take with me on my errands and then come back and write a little more on the page or not. Um, it might be something where I don't write anything right now and I just let it go throughout my day thinking about this picture and thinking about those words and why they mean something specifically to me on this day. Um, but again, it's not something that has to be overcomplicated by art supplies. This is really just about connecting with your, sh your soul at a point in time and it can take as little as five to ten minutes a day or you can go back and continue to revisit this page or add more to the page and again you could also just choose to work with the picture or just choose to work with the quote if you're even look, looking at maybe less amount of time what you can do is just take the pictures and just kind of allow memories and ideas to wash over you as you look through the pictures or as you look through the quotes. So there's so many different ways that you can use this kit and I feel honored to be able to take something that's been in my mind and has helped me quite extensively um, and share it with you. So if you are interested, I have a free PDF of a week's worth of this art journaling where you have the pictures and the quotes and you just print them off um, for signing up for my email list. Thank you so much in advance. Or if you're ready to go ahead and buy a kit, I have 12 themes that are available to you and all the links are down below. Thank you so much for stopping by. Again, this is Robin Norgren, Robin Norgren Studios and Josie's Art School.